Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be in Acts chapter 6. We hope you guys are reading along with us and enjoying this series. We're going to be introduced to a man named Stephen. Now the Bible says that Stephen was full of faith and power. He was full of faith because of God's grace and he was full of power because of the Holy Spirit that was living inside him. The Bible says that Stephen boldly preaches the good news of Jesus about his death and resurrection. And then Jews rise up against him to dispute and debate and argue with him. But the Bible says that they were no match for Stephen's wisdom and spirit. Now the Bible doesn't say that Stephen was smarter, that he was more educated, he was more religious, or that he was a better speaker than uh, these Jews who uh, disputed with him. No. But his upper hand should be credited to God himself, the Holy Spirit that was speaking through Stephen. And so imagine a, a boxing match between a professional boxer and a, a little sixth grader. Besides the fact that that's illegal, um, who do you think would win? We would think this boxer would win. But no, this little sixth grader has God on his side and they knock out that professional boxer. They don't knock him out because they are stronger, because they are a better fighter than that professional boxer. No, they, their upper hand is credited to God himself, the Holy Spirit that is within them. And so today, man, I want to tell you guys that God wants to use you. The Holy Spirit, if you are a believer in Jesus, is in you. He's living in you. And he wants to work through you. You don't have to be uh, the best speaker, the, the, the smartest, or the, uh, the most educated, or know everything about the Bible to be used by God. No. You just have to be willing to want to be used by God. The challenge today for you guys is going to be a bold prayer. I want you guys to cry out to God, to tell Him, God, I will go where you want me to go, and I will be who you want me to be.